I'm not a child, not anymore. I can't be a child. I need to know how it all began. I need to know who I should be, what I should be doing. I want to know everything so I can decide what it all means for myself. I want to make my own judgments. Then I'll decide what needs to be done. I think I quite like you now. Very well. I'll help you. Come with me. Where to? <laughs> oh, to a place you know very well indeed. Come, let's go. And with that, that ends Taka Flies again. So, now we will continue on. But, uh, Sasuke is all, I've always liked Sasuke, along with everyone else. The one, those who all know all. Now I mean like I like Sasuke, but there are a lot of there are a good few people that I like, so I really don't have a favorite, so But we shall now continue on this marvelous chapter of the two unparalleled warriors with those who know all with starting the Hokage appears. Enjoy, I'll see you in the battle. <clears throat> Wow. Who knew there was all this going on under the leaf shrine? Now, let's begin. <clears throat> Reaper Death Seal, release! This mask is necessary in order to use the jutsu written in that scroll. Using this calls out the Reaper, which then possesses the user. Then we can release the things that were sealed by the Reaper. Jugo, Sasuke, Suigetsu, get ready! Now, Jugo, use your chakra to make the extraction from Sasuke. That should draw out the spores of the Zetsu that Toby set as Sasuke's watchdog. They'll serve as the sacrifices to summon the Four. Reanimation Jutsu! Come now. Come. The ones who know everything. The former Hokage. Oh, the, the first Hokage. Hashirama Senju, feared as the god of all ninja in the flesh. What's going on here? The Reaper Death Seal. They must have released it somehow. And then used reanimation. Looks like we've been brought back to life, First Hokage. Reanimation again? Everyone seems to have no trouble using the jutsu I invented. There's a reason for this. I simply prepared all this to grant his wishes. My name is Sasuke Uchiha. I have some questions for you, Hokage. What? Sasuke? First of all, third, 
Why did you make my brother do what he did? I see. So you know. I still want to hear it from your mouth. Everything about Itachi. He killed his fellow clan members and stopped a coup. The man single-handedly prevented a war. He even installed himself in the Akatsuki as a spy after that, to keep the village safe. All under the condition that I protect you, his younger brother. So it was really true. Now, first, I ask you. What is the village? What does it mean to be a ninja? Itachi, my brother, was prepared to protect the Hidden Leaf with his life, despite knowing he'd been used by the village. And he was proud to be a shinobi of the Leaf. What does it mean to give up your own life to protect a village? And what about the ninja that creates such a situation and believe that it's okay? I want to hear it from you. I want to hear the truth so I can decide for myself. Should I take revenge on the village, or...? Revenge on the village? <laughs> you think I'm just going to let you...? Tobirama! Lower your hand. Fine. <laughs> well, excuse me. Well, you want to know about the village, you say? I'd be glad to tell you what you want to know, but it might take some time. No. Please just tell the boy what he wants to know as quickly as possible. What do you mean? We're in the middle of a war here. Madara Uchiha has come back to life and is trying to destroy every last ninja in the world. Huh? <gasps> yes, I can sense a powerful chakra presence at two o'clock. The second Hokage is right. I'm picking up some intense chakra too. But it's not just that. No, I think... Ah, this feeling. Naruto, you're fighting too, aren't you? If Madara's back, talking will have to wait. We can't afford to sit around here and do nothing. I'm sorry, but if you want to head to the battlefield, I must insist we finish our conversation first. If you can't provide Sasuke with the answers he desires, I wouldn't put it past him to use you all to destroy the Hidden Leaf. Damn you, Orochimaru! Don't worry, Orochimaru. We understand. Our first priority should be finding a way to ease up what's binding him. So, where should I begin? Well, in order to explain what a village and a ninja are, I must first explain about the two clans, the Uchiha and the Senju. We fought and fought. Both of us were at the very end of our ropes. And we both knew the end had to be in sight for one of us. All right. So now we are facing Madara Uchiha again with Hashirama. This time we have to have 70% 7, 7 health left. Land three ninjus, two attacks. Excuse me. Which this is going to be a tricky, uh, maybe. Perform a 15 hit combo and connect with one throwing item. Let's see if we actually have any throwing items this time. 
Mother ah, we do. You. There is nothing left to say. There is only battle now. This is war. Take this. Take this. Take this. You're strong, Madara. You always were. But I have to protect the village at all costs. I can't let you beat me. You saw that coming. Take this. Too, too slow. Take this. You saw that coming. Okay, let me see if I can figure out this throwing. Yeah, it seems like I'm just running away, but I'm trying to figure something out. Too weak. Not the village. Not my ninja. Saw that coming. All right. We're coming down on you. Huh? Or like no hidden. Saw that coming. We're coming down on you. Now, let's finish this off with Shadow Shuriken Jutsu. Shadow Shuriken Jutsu. Madara, why? Enjoy the end, the second cutscene. It's over, Madara. Then finish me. Can't do it. That is your problem, Hashirama. You're soft. Yeah. I'll do anything to protect our... No, to protect my village, no matter what happens. I believe that protecting the village means protecting the people of the Hidden Leaf. The ninja, the children. I don't care who it is. My friend, my brother, or my own child. I won't forgive anyone who threatens it. You have your priorities mixed up. That will create darkness in the village. Someday. <clears throat> That's when I found my resolve. My resolve to protect the village to the bitter end. I don't know how he resurrected himself now, but I buried my friend for good that day. For the sake of the village. Which brings me to the village itself. What Madara and I envisioned at first was a place for clans to come together and connect. A way to bring order out of chaos and keep it that way. It was a place where our children could be safe, where no pointless battles were fought, a place of peace. But the fact is, it created a darkness like the one that your brother Itachi bore. Perhaps Madara was right. Perhaps he saw all that coming. I'm the one who created that situation. I'm the only one who gave it the okay. You see, to me, a ninja is someone who bears anything necessary to achieve his goal. <laughs> 